Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and I'm here with a black snake again today. I love these animals. This is my favorite snake. They're very common in my area, and it's a great snake to use to talk about some of the really unique characteristics that snakes have and fascinating adaptations to life. I've done a number of videos on black snake behavior and biology and things that they can do. Today's video is going to focus on that snake's tongue. Why does that tongue come out and keep flicking out like that? And why is it forked? So today's episode is going to be about this snake tongue, what it's doing with it, how it senses the environment, how it works, and how the forks in it actually help its function as well. So stay tuned, catch this episode of snakes and their tongues, how they work and what they're used for. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. And here's the make this invasive. It's exotic. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes. Terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's. So let's start talking about snake senses as a whole. First of all, you know, I look at this snake and I don't see any ear openings. In fact, snakes don't have ears. So their hearing is very limited to picking up vibrations. And they are very sensitive to vibration, especially vibrations that they pick up on the ground because of course they are lying across the ground on their belly. So they do pick up vibrations. Snakes of course have two eyes and the eyesight is really, really not very good. They don't really rely on it as much as one might think. And also, when they sh are shedding their skin in the days before they shed it, their eyes cloud over and they really can't see anything at all. So some snakes rely on heat-seeking pits located in the front of their head. And these snakes are called pit vipers. And the pit vipers detect their prey by following an infrared image that they can pick up with these heat-sensitive pits. So that comes down now to taste and smell. While the snake does have two openings in its nose, they're uh, mostly used for breathing. They do have some ability to smell with that nose, but the receptors are very limited. So that brings up the tongue. And it is really an, an amazing tongue. And you can see that he's constantly flipping it out and checking things. And right now, he's checking out the lens of my camera with that tongue. So the tongue reaches out and picks up molecules in the air. The tongue itself does not have any chemical receptors on it. The tongue itself is not tasting. And you say, well, then what's it doing with it? Well, it's reaching out, getting molecules, and then it's bringing them back into its mouth. So it flicks that tongue out, picks up some molecules in the air or on a surface, and then pulls back and inserts the two points of that tongue in two small openings in the roof of its mouth. These openings are called the vomeronasal organ, also known as the Jacobson organ in snakes, which was named after the scientist who did a lot of studies on that part of the snake anatomy. Tongue flicks out, picks up molecules, the snake pulls it back in, pushes the tips of the tongue into the vomeronasal organ, and that's where the receptors are. The receptors can pick up tiny chemical odors and they can also pick up pheromones. Pheromones are chemicals released by a particular species that are indicators of sex, territory, or suitability or time for mating. So the snake picks up uh, pheromones with that and it also picks up tastes and flavors. So the snake relies primarily on the sense of smell and taste from his tongue. He can use that tongue and flick it on the ground to follow prey items. For example, mice will leave a chemical signature as they go through trails on the ground that the snake can follow. 
Mice also frequently urinate as they're moving along, so the snake can follow that. Well, why is the tongue forked? Well, it's the same principle as our hearing. We have two ears, and with those two ears, we can determine directionality of a sound because imperceptibly, when we hear a sound, it can be louder in one ear than the other ear, and our brain processes that and determines the direction from which that sound is coming. Well, the snake can do the same thing with sense because there's two forks on the snake's tongue which are separated, and he can detect whether there's more odor on one side than the other. So if the snake is senses a prey item nearby, like a mouse, he can tell exactly where it is by flicking his tongue out and determining which side there's more odor particles on than the other side. They're really very, very good at doing that. They had done a, a study with rattlesnakes where they found that if the vomeronasal organ was dis disabled, the rattlesnake was not able to find his prey item, even after he had struck it. So the snake can vary the amount of flicks, the direction of flicks, and it's a purposeful activity to regulate and estimate and determine what's around it in its environment. Sometimes it'll flick it up and down in a very high oscillation, which actually creates some currents and brings odor molecules in. Some snakes will move its tongue side to side to help them determine location and direction of a prey item. Some snakes will use it to touch the ground or surfaces in front of it and determine again what is in its immediate environment. So the most important sense to a snake is the sense of taste and smell. It's kind of wrapped up together. The forked tongue will pick up scents on a surface or from the air, sometimes mixed with some water or saliva in the uh, mouth and it's inserted into the Jacobson organ and these odors and tastes and pheromones are processed by the snake. This particular snake was a rescue snake. I did an episode on the rescue of the snake and the risks of plastics and the environment. Thank you for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. I have a whole series of episodes on black snakes. Don't forget to check those out. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. I got new videos every Friday coming out at 9 o'clock. Please give me a like and leave a comment. I love interacting with my viewers. and I love to read your comments to see what you liked about the video. And I love answering questions. So stay tuned. I hope I catch you on the next video.